Hello, this is Raphael Freeman from Renina Typesetting, and this is an updated video on how to mark up a PDF, this time using the latest version of Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. It's a free download from Adobe. So, how do we mark up a PDF? There are three main corrections you're going to be wanting to do to your text. One that's going to be deleting something, another one's going to be inserting something, and another one's going to be replacing. You also might want to make some comments on the actual formatting. So I'm just going to give a quick overview on how to do the various different things. So let's dive in. In order to make corrections, what you need to do is at the top of the, the screen, you need to click on tools. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of things. We go to the very first one called comment. And when you click on to comment, you're going to go into the text edit mode. And when you do that, you're going to see three things of importance. One, you're going to see a yellow square here, so you know you're in text moding. You're going to see some text edit mode. I just made up a new word, text moding. You're going to see some buttons up here, which we're going to use only one of them in this uh, video. And we're going to see the comments list over here. So let's say we want to delete a word. So we dive straight in. Let's say we want to delete the word the other two had already defeated me i hate the word do let's just get rid of it doesn't matter doesn't make any sense so we highlight the word do we also want to highlight the space after it because we don't want to have uh two space space something and we just press delete boom we've now deleted the word if you look on the right you'll see the name of the person who made the correction that's me what i've done i've struck through some text and that's it and we see it's on page 10 which is the 10th page of the pdf let's say i want to insert a word Okay, I'm going to insert the word green. Makes no sense at all. Doesn't matter. I'm going to type the word green. That's very important that after the word green, we add a space because, of course, it's not I'm trying to green picture. It's I want to try to green picture. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't really matter. After putting the space, though, we must not do the mistake that we always make, and that is hit the enter key. If I hit the enter key to say that I finished making this correction, then when it comes into type setting, the correction is going to be imported as I'm trying to green space, new line picture. We don't want to do that. So how do we do? We can either press the little X over here, or if we're very lazy like I am, we can press the escape key on the top left of our keyboard. And now we see on the right here, we've got this correction green. Great. What happens if I want to put in a space, just a little space? We could put this, let's say we're going to take the word something and make it to something. And all we need to do is to place the cursor in between the sum and the thing and hit the space bar. And when we do that, we press escape at the end. And when we do that, we have the insertion key and it even tells us what we're going to insert. We're inserting a space. And that tells the typesetter that that wasn't a mistake. And indeed, something needs to be inserted. Great. I want to now replace something. I want to replace um the word groin and replace it with the word stomach so i carefully select the word that i want to and i start typing s-t-o-m-a-c-h i don't want a space after it there's no, there's no space before that full stop or period i don't want an enter i don't want a new line before that full stop so i press the escape key and there we go on the right stomach so we've now done our three corrections and now we want to change the formatting we want to say I want to italicize. But before that, we might regret this correction here. Now, what's happened here when we did the replace text, we've actually done two things. We did a delete and then we did an insert. That's really technically what's happening. But the delete is in blue to let us know that this was a special kind of delete. It was a replace. But if I want to delete my change, I want to delete the word do, I can click delete the deletion of the do. I can click on the do a blue square appears and I can press the delete key again and that red line disappears. If I want to do it here though, if I press delete, it didn't get rid of the blue line. I have to do it twice. Very important to delete both of them. Now, I want to actually change some formatting. So if you've come from the world of editing, you know that if you wanted to <coughs> italicize a word, you would simply underline the word in red and you'd put Type the word italic in the margin. So here it's very similar. You can type, click the word groin, choose up here. Notice so we haven't used this bar and I thought it would use one of the features. And we can click the underlying text tool. Uh, a pop-up appears. We don't really care. We press escape. And now we've underlined groin. Then we realize I didn't really want to underline that full stop. So I'm going to delete that by clicking on it. 
and do it a little bit more carefully this time. And if we have a word that's in italics, we want to make it Roman, like up here, then we can do the same thing, um, and that's all we need to do. That's enough to know we want the opposite. But what do we do if now we don't want to do italics? We want to do bold or small caps or something else. So in order to do that, we can, let's say, highlight a word, villains, and I want to make this word um, bold or small. Let's take it bold. So I'm afraid can't help me up there. I'm going to right-click, and there are a few options here. And the option we want to choose is not add note to replace text. That's the same as typing it, like we did earlier. We want to add note to text. And then we could just say bold. And now we know to make that word bold. We can actually use this as well if we want to talk about a paragraph. And let's say I want this entire paragraph to be formatted as an extract. So I can highlight the word that. I don't have to highlight everything. And I can say add note to text, make extract and I will know the type header will know that this paragraph needs to be an extract and you, and you can actually add any note you like you might uh, you might want to uh, say make this paragraph notice I'm not highlighting all of it I'm just highlighting what I need uh, I might just say uh, uh, offset this text in, in some exciting new way Okay, and we can do that. And notice that on the right, when we have inserted text, it says inserted text. If we've got text that needs to be a note to it, it says highlighted text. So the typesetter knows that these are notes to the typesetter. Um, I can go here, add note to text, fix kerning. Okay, these are the main ways to um, uh, to, to put in um uh, formatting corrections there's one other thing that you might want to do though you might want to replace uh some text with some new text uh a whole text and you might want to do some formatting in that so you might want to say here i might have said forever but i didn't okay uh, but i want that word forever to be in italics i can highlight that within the pop-up and using Control I, if you're on a Mac, it's Command I, or Control B, Command B, you can do different formatting. So that now will know that that word forever should still be in italics. And if you want to do it in bold, you can highlight it and do Control B, you can do bold italic, etc. So those are the different ways of doing it. Finally, one very important note. I hope you've got to this point because this is the most important note of all. Try to avoid using the sticky note. The sticky note is only if you want to do something for the entire page. So if I want to say, um, make this page, this page blue, then the sticky note is a great way of doing it. The reason why is because if I, if I zoom in, let's say here, and I want this word much, and I use a sticky note and put it on much and say, um, mean, Okay, then there are two problems. Number one, when I zoom out and it goes onto my screen, that sticky note, it's moved to your, it moves depending on my screen. And the second thing is, is that many typesetters, such as ourselves that run in our typesetting, will use special software called annotations, which can read your corrections. And if you use a sticky note here, it won't be able to read it. It won't know what's attached to. If you now go ahead and uh, d delete you did, and you're very careful about this, and I want to emphasize this point. When you do you did, don't do that. You have two extra space, you have an extra space. Make sure you delete exactly what you want to delete. And then when it gets imported into the annotation software, then it will delete exactly what you want. And if you if you replace things very carefully, um, if not much knowledge, if not much brain power. Okay, um, if I put it in carefully, um, in this particular case, I do not want to space afterwards and I don't press enter and I press escape, then what will happen is that that correction will be put in automatically, perfectly correctly. And if you put in any special characters that you might have, all those special characters will come in accordingly. I hope this video has helped. If you need any more help, please be in touch with me. Uh, my email is rafael at runinartype.com. You can go to my website, runinartype.com, and you can see more videos and get in touch with me. And of course, if you have a manuscript that does need typesetting, then please be in touch and we'll be happy to give you a no obligation quote.